on the 5th July 2017, my co-founder sent me an email with a white paper attached. It was a commerce white paper. And then we had a four-hour call. Actually, I think it was closer to five hours. We talked until we just had to go to sleep. And he said, this blockchain thing, I think we can use it to solve poverty, hunger, and malnutrition in sub-Saharan Africa. And I was like, this blockchain thing, really, this ICO thing? And he was like, really, this is how it's going to work. And, and then he explained to me that lending doesn't happen in many markets in East Africa. Or if it happens, it happens at very low rate, low amounts, at very high qualities, because there's a gap of information. And this is not a new economics problem. Adam Smith wrote about it 200 years ago. Um, classical economists call this a lemon market. This is called a market for credit in underdeveloped countries, where you have information asymmetry, you can't judge the risk, you misprice the risk, you, it's priced too high, and people withdraw from the market, or only scammers borrow. And we said that we could, our thesis is that we can use blockchain to lend to people securely, create trustable credit histories for them, and eventually open the market for them in a more decentralized way. This is not the first time it's happened. We've seen that happen for Alibaba, where they've created a culture of trust in China, where now you could trust that the merchant you were contracting with had good quality, he had a five-star rating, he has a diamond supplier, um, and over time, as you extend that platform from B to B to B to C, you can fundamentally remake an e entire economy just by extending trust. And we think that Africa can benefit from the same trust mechanisms that China used for platforms, but using blockchain, because you have a greenfield market to deploy on. So we're B2B first primarily because the market structures demand it. Digital inclusion hasn't happened yet, so we work with businesses that already have um, laptops, iPhones, and these are merchants who are importing significant amounts and already have bank facilities. But we think that in the next few years, we can go down the value chain to their customers and their customers' customers to extend credit. And I think we can remake markets. That's our entire thesis.